With a name like Night Sword, you're sure to expect this mouse to be pretty freaking bad. At Subscribe! Especially when you consider it's $80 MSRP. I mean, seriously, the only name that would have been better would be Dark Saber. But then Lucasfilm and Disney would be getting involved, turning it into a $120 mouse. The body of the mouse is composed entirely of plastic, which is kind of a letdown for me, seeing as the less expensive Corsair M65 Elite has the main part of the frame built from some super sweet looking aluminum. The Night Sword does have some other features on it though, the M65 Elite does not have. So the question is, do these features make up for the $20 difference in their MSRPs? Now, if you would like an opportunity to win a Corsair Night Sword, I just so happen to be giving one away. So stick around to the end of the video to see just how to enter. The Night Sword has this nice thumb rest on it, which keeps your thumb from touching and rubbing on your mouse pad. Uh, not that I've ever suffered any adverse effects from this, but the thumb rest is a really nice little addition. Uh, the thumb rest has a rubberized coating on it, as does the palm area and the opposite side of the mouse, which helps you maintain a solid grip on the mouse while gaming. The right and left mouse buttons are responsive and really easy to click, and the scroll wheel has a nice action to it. It has a very subtle but nice feeling uh, bump to it, I guess? You know, uh, when you're scrolling, you can feel the individual scroll increments. Uh, like most all modern mice, there is a button built into the scroll wheel, so you can press it down to activate the action clicking your scroll wheel does in whatever application you're using. As for the other buttons on the mouse, the two directly behind the scroll wheel are profile switching buttons, which allow you to cycle through the different lighting and action profiles you set up in Corsair's IQ software. Like all the rest of Corsair's IQ compatible peripherals, this mouse has a ton of customizability, but I'll get into that a bit more uh, later on in the video. These buttons can be reprogrammed using IQ to do whatever you want them to do, but the default is profile switching. The two buttons on the edge of the left mouse button can also be reprogrammed to whatever you want, but the default is for cycling through the three customizable DPI settings you can assign to each profile. The lights just below these buttons are indicators to let you know which DPI setting you're using. One, two, or three. Just to the right of these indicators are two more buttons, which are what I call the forward and back buttons, because that's what they do in a web browser, is act as the browser's forward and back buttons. Once again, these two can be remapped to whatever you want to use them for in IQ. There are even some games that will also allow you to remap these buttons to specific commands in the game's settings. Below these buttons, we have our sniper button. Uh, this is called a sniper button because when playing a shooter, oftentimes when aiming down sights or looking through a scope, you want to have better control of where you're aiming. Uh, pressing the sniper button lowers the Night Sword's DPI to whatever you set it to in IQ to give you the finer control that you need. And yes, uh, just like every other button on this mouse, you can reprogram the sniper button uh, to whatever you want it to do. Like all premium mice these days, the Night Sword has a braided USB cable to give it that I'm better than you look when compared with a traditional plastic sleeved cable. Uh, on the underside of the mouse, there are five glide pads and the 18,000 DPI optical sensor. I guess I'm too old to appreciate an 18,000 DPI sensor because that feels way too sensitive for me. When I'm using my PC in Windows, I like it around 1500, and when gaming, I turn it down to 800. Going much higher than that feels just way too sensitive and fast for me. The great thing about the Night Sword is you can adjust the DPI to whatever feels best to you. And Corsair has even taken this customization to the extreme, allowing you to adjust the DPI by increments of one. So you can literally dial in 17,999 or 257 or 
any other number if you wanted. Uh, also on the bottom of the mouse is this removable plate, which is the cover for the tunable weight system. Included with the Knight Sword are six weights, which allow you to customize the weight as well as the mouse's center of mass, if that's something you're into. Me personally, I'm happy with the way the mouse feels with no weights in it at all. But if you prefer a slightly heavier mouse, this allows you to customize the weight anywhere between 120 to 142 grams, as well as adjust the mouse's center of mass. Uh, the cool thing about this is in IQ there is a weight tuning tab which allows you to add and remove weights and see in real time what the total weight and where the mouse's center of mass is located. Now for the part you've all been waiting for, the feature that's going to give you the edge over your opponents and help you increase your KD in every game you play, yeah, the RGB lighting. The Night Sword has four different lighting zones on it. There's the front zone, the scroll wheel zone, the rear zone, and finally the logo zone. Each zone is individually addressable and can be set to a completely different color or effect if you so choose. Using IQ, you can choose from 16.9 million different colors as well as several different lighting effects. And uh, that brings us to the final part of the video, where we'll take a quick look at the settings in IQ for the Night Sword. Uh, I'm not going to go into depth on how to customize the lighting or how to remap buttons because I already have an IQ tutorial video, so you can check that video out in the uh, cards or in the video description if you'd like a little help with those things but there are a few of these tabs on the left here that I would like to talk about real quick. The Hardware Actions tab allows you to remap buttons on the mouse to use as macros or other functions and then save those actions to the mouse. So if you take the mouse with you somewhere and plug it into another computer that doesn't necessarily have your IQ profiles installed on it, the Knight Sword will still perform your custom actions uh, as you've set them up here. The Hardware Lighting tab does essentially the same thing, except it's just for the lighting. The DPI tab allows you to customize four different DPI settings for the Knight Sword. Uh, three of them are the ones you can cycle through using the two buttons on the left mouse button, and the fourth is the Sniper button. Uh, you can use the slider here to adjust the DPI for each setting, or you can manually type in your desired DPI in the field to the right. You can also adjust the X and Y axis DPI independently from each other by clicking the box between them. Also in this tab, you can customize the color of the DPI indicators and the color they change to when the sniper button is pressed. In the Performance tab, you can turn angle snapping on or off, as well as to enhance pointer precision. Angle snapping is a feature that helps you move the mouse in a straight line, uh, like illustrated here in Photoshop. With angle snapping off, your imperfect movements are fully exposed. Enhance pointer precision adjusts the DPI of the mouse based on how quickly you move the mouse. When you're moving slowly, it gives you better fine control. However, if you move the mouse quickly, uh, even a short distance, the mouse pointer will move much further. The Surface Calibration tab helps you calibrate the mouse to your mouse pad. Uh, the Weight Tuning tab shows the total mass and center of mass of the mouse, uh, as we already talked about. And last is the Onboard Profiles tab. Here you can save up to three of your IQ profiles to memory on the Night Sword. Uh, this is different than the hardware actions and lighting because those are basically a way for you to create a custom default profile for the mouse, uh, where these onboard profiles allow you to switch between three different profiles without having to have IQ installed on the computer you're using the mouse with. Uh, as for my personal opinion of the Corsair Knight Sword RGB, it's a very nice mouse. It has tons of cool features which allow you to customize the mouse just the way you want it. Uh, you can adjust the DPI of the optical sensor, 
remap every button to whatever you want, customize the lighting, and even change the weight and center of mass of the mouse. Are all of these features necessary to play games or simply use your PC? No, but they are really cool to have available to you. And the good news is, as of the making of this video, the Night Sword is currently being discounted by $10 at most retailers, so you can pick one up for $70 rather than the $80 MSRP. Now, at the beginning of the video, I said I was going to give one of these mice away. So if you'd like to win one of these, please drop a comment on this video letting me know how you found my channel. Um, what your favorite feature of the Night Sword is, and uh, what games you'd like to try it with. You will have three days from the time this video goes live to leave a comment at uh, which time I will read them all and choose one lucky person to receive a uh, Corsair Night Sword RGB compliments of the channel. No, Corsair did not sponsor this video. Uh, they did not give me a mouse to give out. I bought the Night Sword with my own money and will be buying another brand new one to send to the winner. Best of luck to all of you and I look forward to reading your comments. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, there's those uh, YouTube things that you can do that really help the channel. And if you're interested in purchasing your own Corsair Night Sword RGB, you can find it on my Amazon store at the link in the video description. There's also other stuff on my store I've made videos about in the past you can check out too uh, if you're interested. Okay, I'm going to get on out of here. I hope you have a great day and I uh, look forward to seeing you in another video real soon. Later!